Does the pull-out method really work? I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna to answer, does withdrawing or coitus interruptus or pulling out actually prevent pregnancy? And is there actually sperm in the pre-ejaculate fluid? During ejaculation, men produce a fluid called pre-ejaculate or pre-cum. And this fluid is secreted by these specific glands called the bulbourethral glands. And they actually serve a purpose. One it's to lubricate the passageway to help sperm pass. It also helps the semen clump up appropriately or coagulate. And lastly, it helps the sperm survive in a very acidic environment. And both urine and the vagina have an acidic environment. So it keeps them healthy so they can reach the egg without getting damaged and then create an embryo. So that all sounds great, but there's two things to realize. One is that you cannot control when it comes out or how much comes out. That's variable person to person. Some people release a couple drops. Some people can release as much as a teaspoon. And secondly, and most importantly, does it actually have sperm in it that could potentially create a pregnancy? And the short answer is it doesn't. The fluid itself won't contain any sperm. However, if you've recently ejaculated or had sex recently, Recently, sperm can still be in the passageway or the urethra from where this pre-ejaculate would go through. And hence, this could then carry some sperm into the vagina and cause a pregnancy. Also, sometimes it's very difficult to pull out at the right exact time, in which case you also put yourself at risk for an unwanted pregnancy. How often do people have unwanted pregnancies when they do the pull-out method? Well, researchers looked at surveys of over 2,000 women. They found that almost a third of them used this method to prevent pregnancy. And of those, 21% actually had an unintended or unwanted pregnancy despite using the pullout method. And they've estimated that, you know, somewhere between nine to 48% of people are using the pullout method. So should you use it? There's a couple things. Certainly it has a failure rate and you could end up with an unwanted pregnancy. And second, and most importantly, is it doesn't protect from any sort of sexually transmitted infection. In fact, they've looked looked at pre-ejaculate fluids and they found HIV in HIV infected patients in the actual pre-ejaculate fluid. So it's much better to use some sort of barrier protection if you're concerned about sexually transmitted infections. And there are very safe and effective birth control methods available from the obstetricians and gynecologists to help you prevent unwanted pregnancies. Using those is going to be a much better and safer option rather than using the pullout method. I hope this video answered your questions. If you enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends because we can spread all this knowledge all over the world. As always, we're gonna take care of yourself because you are worth it.